Well, thank you for joining me today, Deb Conklin. Let's dive into it. Uh, you're running for prosecuting attorney. What decide, What made you want to run for office? So we need a deep cultural change in this office. The, the problem is not just um, this action or that action. The problem is the culture in the office. You are one of three women running for prosecuting attorney, and you are running <laughs> against Larry Haskell. Currently, Washington State only has four women serving as county prosecutors. I mean, what, what do you think about that? I think that prosecuting attorneys have the same glass ceiling that virtually every other profession has. In the past year, Larry Haskell's wife uh, was, it, it came out that his wife had made racist comments. So I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do you think Larry Haskell's wife's racist comments have compromised the prosecutor's office? Even though um, Prosecutor Haskell claims that his office is not engaging in any sort of bias, the numbers suggest otherwise. How do you suppose that can be improved if, if you're elected? So partly, I think we need to do this training. We need to have everybody in the office and if possible, um, all of our law enforcement take the training in you know why race matters. What is your stance on gun rights? I believe in the Second Amendment. Um, I've actually owned guns. I think gun ownership is a responsibility and I think people need to take it seriously. I think we need regulations that make it so the, the barely 18 year old can go and buy several high powered weapons. Well that's and not possible in Washington State though. In Washington State but he can buy them in Texas and come to Washington State. But you're running for a Washington State County office. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think we need reasonable regulation of guns. Okay, what would reasonable look like to you? It would be, um, people don't need high powered weapons. Um, and what unless, does high powered mean to you? Uh, assault weapons, for sure. Um, but what is that? I mean, it's specific. Well, so, that's, so that's the problem <laughs> sure. is we would have to write a law that defines it. What will your focus be in office? My focus will be to um, bring a sense of justice to the system so that when people get charged, we know that there's really the evidence there for the case and that the prosecutor's office is prepared to go to trial on that if we need to. We will have an office where people want to come to work. We've had um, a lot of people leaving the office over the last two years. So we'll have an office where people want to come to work and feel good about what they do. Well, thank you so much, Deb, for sitting down with me over, over tea and, and talking through your campaign. Good luck to you. <laughs> thank you. Well, that is only a few minutes of the hour-long conversation Amanda had with Conklin. You can watch that entire interview on the Krem2 YouTube page. And we're not done because tomorrow we will hear from the final prosecuting attorney candidate, Stephanie Collins. So make sure and join us at 4 and at 6 p.m.